This seems to be a common problem. You create a PowerPoint on a Mac, you move it to Windows, you're in the middle of your presentation, and the things you added like photos, graphs, and particularly video, don't play, and it looks rather embarrassing. So this is what I do to make sure that it works. And I'm using this on a Mac, as if I was going to put it onto a Windows computer. Same thing applies if you're creating on Windows, and putting it across onto a Mac. And I just think this is a good thing to do anyway, because you never know when you're going to have to move your presentation or give it to someone else. So I start off by, and I'm just going to the finder here, putting all the assets, all the images, any sound, any videos, anything like that, I put it all into one folder. And I'm going to save my presentation into here as well. So they're all together. That way, if it's looking for any links to these, it just knows they're all together. And it then doesn't matter because it all moves relatively together. So when you then put it on a memory stick or send it to someone, you want this whole folder to go with it. So here I am back in PowerPoint and I've already got an image in here. But if I want to add in say a video, I've just clicked on new slide here, it's given me a new slide. I can click on this little button here, insert movie from file. Here is my folder, here is the video, this one here, Photoshop Understanding Layers. And if I put it in, it should embed into the presentation and it shouldn't be a problem. Although some people still say that it is. The video is quite large, 397 megabytes. That's going to make the PowerPoint presentation rather big. So what you could do is click on Link to File. And this is a really good reason why it should all be in the same folder. Because if you do that, it should all just link it all up. So I'm just going to click on Insert, and there's my video. Same again if I want to add in a picture, go to New Slide, add in a picture. Here's a picture I can put in, in that same folder. Same thing applies if you want to add in audio. Make sure it's all in the same folder. So one of the things you need to make sure that you do is save your presentation into that same folder. And I could have saved it right at the beginning. I'm going to save it now. I'm going to click on my Save button. And I'm going to call this one Mac to Windows, although it does work the other way around as well. And I'm just going to click on Save. And then if I go to the Finder, you can see there is my PowerPoint. There's all the things that go with it. So it's a really good way to keep organized. Know where everything is for your presentation anyway, is to keep it all in one. Now a really good idea, put this on a memory stick and try it out on another computer. If you know it's going to be a Windows computer, try it on another Windows computer. If it's a Mac, try it on that. Ideally, try it on both. But if you know that it's moved to another computer and it's Mac or Windows, you should be absolutely fine. So that should now solve the problem for you of creating presentations and some of the things like video, audio and images missing when you go to do your presentation.